Meld is the newest kit on the block that directly competes with OBS Studio. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you on how to set up Meld Studio in just a few minutes. Also, if you found today's video useful, make sure you hit that subscribe button and help me reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube by the end of 2026. First thing we're gonna do is head over to meldstudio.co and click on the download button. Links for this are in the description down below. Then we're gonna select on a download for Windows and let it download. Now what we're gonna do is click on meldstudio.beta and install the application. You might get a little error on the screen saying, hey, this might not be safe. We just wanna click on install. Now Meld will pop up and say, let Meld Studio access your camera. For you VTubers out there, we're just gonna click no. For your flash tubers out there, we're just gonna click yes. But right now I'm just gonna click no. We're gonna say yes to letting you access our microphone. And then we're just gonna click on the next and then get started. The vast majority of you are coming from OBS. So what I highly, highly, highly suggest is you go to file and then click on import OBS session. That's gonna import basically everything that you already have in OBS into Meld Studio. For this next section for Spout 2, it does appear that it only sports at this current time, VNAN, but it will support things like VTube Studio and even possibly VC Face in the very, very near future. You wanna make sure Spout 2 is enabled on the application of your choice. I'm using VTube Studio. I know right now it's not really supported, but it will be in the near future. So we're gonna hit on settings. We are gonna click the webcam icon on the top left-hand side, and we are gonna scroll down to Spout 2 Config, and we're just gonna click on the activate button. If you're gonna be using something like VNAN or VC Face, make sure you do the same thing. Right now, again, VNAN is absolutely supportive. VC Face and VTube Studio, not quite yet, but this tutorial will still apply for you in the near future. Next thing you gotta do in Meld Studio is go to the layer on the top left-hand side, click the little plus icon, click on Veil Device, and then under Select a Device, you're gonna find your VNAN, uh, or your VTube Studio, or your VC Face, whatever you are using, it will appear here. Uh, I'm gonna just borrow VTube Studio Cam and just use that. And well, there I am. But this is the exact method you would do to add your spout. To capture things like video games, all you gotta do is click on the plus icon under layers and go to display capture. Make sure you have your video game on full screen and all you gotta do is just select it in the window down below. But for me, I'm just gonna use an image and I loaded up my image by going to plus and then clicking image. You wanna make sure if you have an image or if you have your scenes or layers or all that fun jazz that your VTube Studio spout or whatever you're using to capture is on the very tippity top. For the people that wanna use the green screen method, this next section is for you. Now that we have Meld open, all I'm gonna do is right click on my scene, rename it to whatever I want. For this purpose, I'm just gonna leave it as scene. Under layers, we're gonna click on the plus sign, go down to display capture. Make sure our VTube Studio is full screen in the background. You cannot have it minimized. We're gonna click on select display or window and we are gonna find VTube Studio and then click okay. And there I am. For VTube Studio, we gotta unfortunately make sure we have a green screen until well meld add support for Spout. So we wanna click on the change background and make sure we go to background number eight, which is the green screen and then click select. Now back on Meld Studio, what we wanna do is click on the effects button Click on the little plus icon, find chroma key and click on it. And you'll notice that the background disappears. We might want to click on this little button here to adjust the threshold as in how strong we want the chroma key to be. And I think 0.4 is pretty good for VTube Studio. And then we just want to make sure we hide that. And uh, that's good so far. Now we want to make sure we can crop our character a little bit. So we're going to click on the middle icon right here, which will allows us to crop and move it down. So we're going to move it a little bit to the left there and a little bit down. And that's looking pretty good. So now we can move our character to where we want it, fully adjust to the size we want. And I don't know, I think that looks pretty good. Now, if we want to add a game, all we got to do is go back to layers, click on the plus, click on display capture, Make sure our game is open and full screen. Then you'll find it somewhere in the background. All you gotta do is select it and well, make sure your avatar is on top so the game is in the background. For example, as you can see, I loaded a image. 
and it looks like my classroom. So what I'm going to do is make sure my VTube Studio is above the image itself. And again, I will adjust my avatar to where I want it. That's looking pretty good. Now to add a browser source, all we got to do is again, click on the plus icon, click on browser, and then put in the browser source that you need to put in in the URL on the right hand side. So this would be your stream elements alerts or stream labs alerts, all that fun jazz goes right here. Now you're probably wondering, well, how do I go live with Meld? Well, I'm glad you asked little Timmy and let me show you. What we want to do is click on the file on the top left hand side and go down to preferences. As you may see, this looks kind of familiar. You can pretty much copy your OBS settings one to one and just make it what it should be. But for us to add something like Twitch or YouTube, all we got to do is click on add output, click on Twitch or YouTube, click on login, log in to your Twitch or YouTube like you normally would and well, you're good to go. Now that I'm logged into my Twitch and my YouTube for the fancy fancy multi-streaming, I'm just going to go down to video bitrate, make sure I set it to 6,000 because that is the maximum that Twitch can support, or 10,000 if I'm only streaming on YouTube. Quality preset, I'm just going to set that to best quality because that's what I prefer. Everything else I'm just going to leave as default. Same thing with plugins, advanced, and pretty much every other little tab here, I'm just going to leave it as default for now. And that's how you set up Meld Studio for your VTuber. This was a very quick and basic tutorial on how to get started with Meld. If you want something a little bit more detailed, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Again, I'm your VTuber Senpai. I stream here every Friday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and upload here every Wednesday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So come on by, say hi, and well, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.